Okay, I'm starting a, <clears throat> a new heart for the collection. I was walking around, I found this piece of uh, tiger wood in all my scraps. Uh, just so you can kind of see, I don't really cut anything. I just find the scraps from a lot of my other designs that I've used over the past. And this is tiger wood, so I, it just caught my eye and I said, oh, that's a pretty... Uh, uh, look, might make a good heart design. So I, I'm going to start with this, and then I'm going to uh, look for some more material to kind of start uh, putting this thing together. So anyway, this is the uh, beginning of it. So let me go to the next step. Okay, so I've got my uh, tiger wood here. I found a piece of uh, blood wood, and uh, had a good shape to it. This is a scrap piece, of course, and after I looked at it, I thought, oh, it'd be nice to have a little bevel on the side, so I went ahead and cut part of it off. Now, none of this wood has been polished yet, so we've got to uh, actually polish it. So, anyway, let me see if I can, I'm going to try to do better on my videos here to get a, a better look. So, anyway, uh... There it is from above. We're looking down at it. Sheet of paper. This is a uh, what is this? 18 by 12. So it kind of gives you an idea how big this is going to be. Uh, so let me go to the next step and see if we can find something that would uh, kind of blend with this to kind of get going. Okay, I found a piece of wingay wood, just a small scrap. I thought, well, that'd look good up there. And uh, so it's kind of starting to take a little bit of shape. It's uh, a long ways from there, but uh, anyway, let's uh, let me keep looking around for more materials. I'm I more or less look for materials that just uh, look like they would fit into the piece to make a a unique. Uh, wall heart collection for the for the wall so just to say I love you so anyway uh, I'm, oh I was going to show you I put a lot of these on my uh, on the tennis shoes the designs after I finished a heart you can see some of these you can see them on, on uh, see there's a heart there's a heart there's a heart there's a heart these are all on high top tennis shoes. I put them on loafers and also sneakers and a lot of different other stuff on my Zolly site. So take a look at that if that's uh, something you want to look at. But anyway, you can actually see these, uh, see the actual original art and then I've taken the photos, enhanced the photos and uh, put them onto the t uh, tennis shoes. Pretty cool. So anyway, let's uh, get back to this one. Let me uh, find another piece and we'll go from there. Okay, I found this piece of obsidian. This is a stone. This is a slab of a obsidian. I've had this around a long time. Uh, I thought, well, that look kind of uh, might look good right there. So I'm going to set it right there. All this is just to kind of... Uh, as we're stepping through to see if it's going to look good or not look good. So let's uh, keep working and see uh, what we get for the next step. Anyway. Okay, I found a couple more pieces of wingay wood. This is very similar to this one up here. I thought, well, we might set that right there. Might bring this. This is another piece of wingay. None of this is polished, so... Don't be looking at it and saying, well, it's kind of dull looking. So, anyway, so that uh, kind of, that's going to give us a little bit of a, a frame out. Uh, so we can kind of see what, uh, maybe what this is going to look like. So we still got some more work to do. So let's uh, keep working and then see what we come up with. Okay. Okay, I found a piece of uh, purple heart in my scraps. It's just a thin piece. I thought maybe we'll stick that right over here, kind of to give it a little bit more uh, look there. 
I was thinking about using this scrap of blood wood somewhere, but uh, I don't think it would look good. It's, uh, let's see if it looks good over here. So it would match that other side, maybe. But this has a, you know, maybe a double, maybe like that. And then, that might look pretty cool. Let's leave that like that right now and then go to the next step and see. Let's flip this over. It's got a bow in it a little bit. I'll have to glue it all together so it's... Uh, let's keep on working and see if we can come up with some more. Uh, that might be pretty neat to have a little channel there. Okay, let me keep working. Okay, I found some more pieces of wingé. This was a longer piece. I cut it so it would be uh, two different lengths. So, let's see if we can move this up a little bit. And maybe move... I'm going to move some pieces around just to see if we can get a different look. So, okay. So we'll bring this up. Bring this over. <coughs> so that's kind of a little bit different. This hangs down. I was thinking maybe what if we took this piece and put it right here on the end and this other piece kind of put it like that and possibly take this piece and set it on top of there so that it has a little uh, dimension out here. Of course this is going to stand up. It's a little bit that's looking pretty good. Now the question is <coughs> uh, what kind of heart do we want to put in here? So that's another question. So <coughs> what kind of wood do we want to use for the heart? So and then what are we going to put on the background? So this is obsidian, black obsidian. I've got some black obsidian stone, so I may want to put that in there. So, let's, uh, here's a little heart. This is just a, a pattern of MDF. So I'm just, I'm just using that to see what the look might be. So, anyway, uh, let's keep uh, looking around and see what are the things we can do. Here's some, here's a little uh, black and white ebony heart. There may be too much black in this, in the black, and so, anyway, I'm not sure about that. No. Nope. And I have some bloodwood hearts, uh, smaller heart. No. Nope. Uh, here's a marble wood heart. This may be a good double heart. Let's uh, let me uh, let me look around for some more materials to see. I don't know. This uh, marble wood might be pretty neat. Maybe make a double heart, two marble woods or something uh, like that. Let's move this around a little bit. Okay. Let's let me keep looking and see. Uh, what the next step is. Okay, so we I kind of I laid this out. This might look pretty good. I put uh, this is just the MDF. It's raised up a little bit on a little blocks. I may do a double heart. So I'm just kind of laying this out just to see uh, what what the look would might be. I've got these pieces laid out, just rough laid out. Kind of crooked here, but anyway, that's okay. Uh, so <coughs> this is uh, may move this around a little bit there and here, and then uh, this piece right here. What if I took this, stuck it right there? I could then lay that down into the to the. Uh, that looks pretty good. And so, 
Uh, let me keep looking for some other things to see what, uh, you know, I've got some of this obsidian stone. Let's see if that would be a good background. So I have obsidian, a slab, obsidian stone, and then marble wood here. And you know what? I've got these uh, marble wood hearts that I, these little ones that I cut out earlier for another thing that I didn't think looked good on there, but you know, it might look good on here if we put these four little marble wood uh, hearts on the side of this tiger. And then, let's see, I'm thinking maybe put a little of this obsidian right here in that channel. I don't know if that looked good or not. May have to, that channel is going to make it kind of crooked looking. I may want to turn this, turn this piece of bloodwood up. And so it's more, and then we'll look right here, see, put a little bit of, obsidian stone I mean yeah obsidian right there so let me uh, let me fill all this in with a obsidian the stone and then we'll look at it and see how it looks and then we'll step through uh, the next step of this design okay I've got this uh, this obsidian all in I turn this uh, bloodwood piece the little uh, angle that was the scrap from that I turned it up I'm gonna glue that together there and so that'll uh, frame out a little bit different sand it down I'm gonna leave that right there that looks pretty good this is gonna be right here it's gonna be raised up so it's a the stones are underneath it so that's not gonna be part of the uh, back so okay so I've got this is gonna be a double heart I think Unless we look at something different. Uh, four hearts down this side. I'm going to change these. and uh, Some of them are thick and some are thin. Probably polish them all out. Then I was thinking I'm going to use a, a heart something like this. This is a heart. This is a scrap heart that I've had around for a while. So Anyway, I'm going to use something like this here. But I'm going to use uh, marble wood all the way around so I'm uh, going to use I'll, I've got some scrap marble wood so I'll cut those pieces uh, I'll paint this black glue them on there and then we'll probably put some <coughs> put some of the obsidian stone let me get a spoon uh, right up here on the top of the so you know what, I may use some, uh, oh, I have some, uh, oh, what's it called, uh, the purple uh, amethyst. I have some amethyst stone. I may put some amethyst in the heart <coughs> instead of the black obsidian, so we'll keep the back black and marble, marble wood, marble wood around the edges, and possibly some amethyst. Let, let me go get some amethyst and we'll look at it and just see. Okay, I found some amethyst. This is, uh, these are kind of big. Some of my big amethyst. So, anyway, uh, they're a little bit too big, but I'm just putting them in there for the color just to get an idea. Uh, so, this, this is the heart we're going to put on there. We're going to put marble wood around it. This is just a test, just to take a look. Uh, I think the amethyst will kind of uh, give it a different, another look. So instead of being all obsidian, or I may want to put the uh, amethyst in the back and the obsidian here. So uh, I'm not sure. Let's 
we, I'm, I'm going to have to find my other. I've got some more amethyst that's uh, a little bit smaller. I may use it in the back. And then I'll look at the two different contrast to see. But overall, I think we got kind of the right direction. Just need to get the colors right. So let me let me uh, let me find my other amethyst, and I'm going to probably switch this out. The amethyst in the back and uh, obsidian in the front, and see if that uh, makes a difference or or not. Okay, I wanted to show you. I decided to uh, glue those two pieces of wood together, the blood wood and the purple heart. So I'm showing you kind of what it takes to get it all glued together. So I've glued all this together. I've got it clamped. So that's going to be it's uh, the edge for the piece that. And so that's a beveled blood wood side. Purple heart is a rectangle. So it's a thin piece there, but I have to clamp all that together and let that dry for, you know, probably four or five hours before I seamed it and get it ready to just uh, be a piece that's ready to go onto that particular heart. So anyway, just uh, showing you a little detail there. Okay, I'm, uh, I've located some... Uh, Amethyst stone. Got it right here, purple. This is kind of more, this is a little darker. So I'm going to put this in here and take a look. There's some uh, smaller amethyst. It's not quite as dark purple. This was the amethyst, I mean, this was the uh, obsidian that we had a little while ago, and I just wanted to see the. So I've moved all the pieces over, and so I want to put the. Uh, I'm going to put some of this, uh, let me get this and put it right in there and see. Uh, how this looks. And I was thinking that the uh, amethyst looks better. We'll probably put the uh, obsidian here in the center of the heart and then we'll uh, possibly instead of putting marble wood around the edge I may put purple heart wood see here's the piece that I glued together on the edge there I've sanded it I haven't polished it I've sanded it a little bit but just kind of getting it uh, ready to uh, be in the, in place. So let's let me keep putting these amethyst stones in here and see. I think I'm liking the amethyst better than the obsidian. Give it a little more contrast. And I could throw in some of these smaller stones too, kind of give it a. So, put some on the edge here. I think I'm more leaning more to the amethyst now. So put the amethyst in there. This piece is going to go up. So a little bit more in there. Okay, so this is coming up here. That's like that. Uh, looks pretty good. Kind of leaning to the amethyst for sure. So, we've got these pieces kind of setting here. We have the obsidian, we have the obsidian uh, stone up there. Oh, but, uh, I'm not sure about now. The more I look about it, I'm I'm not sure I like the obsidian up there. I wonder if I ought to take that out and bring in a bring in a piece of wingay wood and take that completely out. The only thing is that's too big. 
just kind of doesn't fit in there. So let's. What if we were to cut it in half and put it up there? Cut cut this piece in half and put it here, and then possibly we could put a couple of uh, stones. Some of these uh, emerald cut stones right there. I've got the grain of the wingay wood going up and down. The grain here is going up and down. So uh, Let's take this right here. Take this out. This is one that's just got uh, it's not the right wood that I wanted to use. I wanted to use the marble wood or a purple heart. So now we'll put this in there. The obsidian. And see. Uh, so the marble wood, I think, is okay. This piece of obsidian is not, seems like it's just not, it's not working with the piece now the way I want it to look. So this comes over here. Possibly, let's see. Here's another piece of wingay wood, so possibly we could bring this over the top to cut that up a little bit uh, to divide it. To, so give it a little, maybe cut it right here or put it right there, bring it down. push this down into here. Okay. And then that comes up to here. I'm just looking for that look that just says that and see maybe put this right there. That way I don't have to use any uh, emerald cut so we'll keep it so we're going to do, I think we'll, I'll do one with purple heart and I'll do one with the marble wood here and then we'll put the obsidian in there and see if that's the direction we want to go. But I think I'm going to go with the amethyst now over the obsidian. We're going to take away this piece. We'll use that somewhere else later on. Uh, possibly bring this across here. Then if I had a real thin piece, I could, this isn't the right wood, but if I had a thin piece, I could bring it in here so that I can give and cut it here and cut this here so I have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, different look right there, so, okay. Let me, uh, this can stay down here on this side. So I've got purple heart, I've got blood wood, blood wood. This is tiger wood, uh, marble wood, and this, the wing So we got quite a few different woods here. Anyway, let me keep working and then uh, we'll look at it here in a minute. Okay, here's the amethyst stone that we had over here. I kept looking around, looking around. I just didn't like this uh, amethyst completely by itself. So I, I have some amethyst uh, here, and I have some tiger eye stone, and some yellow jasper. So these are three different stones mixed. And then I put the amethyst on the side here, and that kind of frames it out a little bit better. I got the sun coming in pretty good this morning. Anyway, I think that's, uh, and then I, I stepped, I made the heart. I took this heart, this was the little heart. I'm thinking, okay, that's a little bit too small. So I grabbed this bigger heart. So I'm going to use this bigger heart. And we're going to put marble wood around here. And we'll probably just put the amethyst stone in the center of that heart. So I think that's the look. We got 
the pieces up here. I've got to cut this piece. It's a little bit too long. But anyway, uh, I think that's going to uh, give us a better... I mean, to me, it just it pops better. And I'm always trying to get the right look that I think is the right look. So Anyway, uh, let me keep working and uh, fix the heart. And then we'll look at it as a complete piece and then decide if that's the route that we're going to go. But I'm pretty sure these are the stones we're going to use. It's going to be the yellow jasper amethyst. Those are pretty good sized stones. And a yellow uh, tiger eye. So I have yellow tiger eye, red tiger eye, and blue tiger eye. But this is the yellow tiger eye. So it's uh, really nice. Anyway, let me step on through. Okay, I've uh, finished this piece. <clears throat> this is the uh, the one that I started out with the obsidian stone, and then we uh, changed everything around. So anyway, we've got uh, the amethyst stone in the heart, the yellow jasper around here, marble wood. I got the four hearts with marble wood. Everything's glued together. The uh, uh, emerald. Zirconia, but it's not really zirconia. The amethyst on the side. We've got purple heart, blood wood. We have wingay wood, wingay wood. We have, uh, I think this is paduke. This is blood wood up here. And then I put a, uh, I put the marble wood up on a, uh, onto a paduke stand. So anyway, it's all complete. <clears throat> all I've got to do is put the uh, angle bracket on it. And we'll take some extra photos and and get it all ready to go on the Epsi site. So uh, take a look at it. Uh, share this video with uh, anybody you think might be interested in it. But definitely a turned out to be a gorgeous piece. And uh, looking forward to the next one. Uh, have a blessed day.